Welcome to Make a Path Presents, I'm Ronnie Hayes, and today I got some quickie news for fans and collectors of The Walking Dead. Now, I'm not even gonna introduce this, I'm just gonna slap it on the screen and let's dive right in. There you go, we are getting a Winslow Walker for the Collector's Edition for Season 7. Now listen, first off, if you collect these Collector's Editions, it all started with the Season 2, it's the zombie head, and what's really cool is this Winslow, you remove one of the pieces that's stuck in him. Him, and then when you stick it back in them, it unlocks the case just like the season two where you take the um, screwdriver out and then you stick it back in its eye and it unlocks it so you can lift it, its head up. So if you take the screwdriver out, it actually locks the head down. It just kind of keeps it from flipping up, you know? So I imagine the same kind of mechanism is going to take place inside this Winslow Walker, but this thing is awesome. So season two was the Walker head. Season three was the Governor Fish Tank. I think that is absolutely an incredible must-have one. Season 4 is the walker on the tree. A beautiful piece, but it was a little underwhelming at the time. And then Season 5 and Season 6 were just absolutely underwhelming. I think Season 6 is really where a lot of fans started backing away. Me, personally, I didn't even pick it up and review it yet. Maybe it was the production images, but there's just no color to it. There's a little splash of color. They really feel like they were getting cheaper and cheaper, and I even waited until Season 5 went on discount. And I'm not waiting for this one. This is Redemption Alley. I mean, McFarlane Toys has knocked this one out of the park. The choice of which walker they're going to put on, because these are walkers. A lot of people are saying, oh, it should be this, it should be that, it should be Glenn's head, it should be Negan's bat, it should be, you know, an RV. Uh, but it's it's walker-centric. It has to be walker-centric. That's the whole point. So I'm thrilled with this. I think this thing is gorgeous. Even the, the digi book that comes with it, it's this white digi book with Winslow on the cover and it's got that white look to it. I love this cover too. I think this is a home run altogether. You got the digi book, you got the Winslow bust that looks friggin epic. Unfortunately, Target, I'm going to be skipping on that. Every year I get the steel book and the collector's edition. Well, this year they actually are going to release this really shitty rise up. I don't know who the hell wants letters instead of an image of characters they love or zombies or some type of awesome imagery. It's letters. I mean, the characters look cool in this picture if you zoom in. I think this decision was such a poor and dumb choice. Why in the world would you even pick words for it. I don't know. I don't get it. This should have went on the back. Whoever made this choice, you are an idiot, sir. No offense. All offense intended because this is just stupid. Now watch. The back of this steel book has some epic, insanely cool picture. If it does, that might kind of redeem itself, but I'll wait for the YouTube reviews for that. I'm not going anywhere near this. Moving over back to the Winslow. This thing, look at that. Oh, wow. Look at that. <laughs> oh, man. I love that. Anyway, so this guy is going to come out in October. Now, the Steelbooks and the Blu-ray discs, the standard ones, they come out in August. I think August 22nd. So you could get those early and then watch this bonus special features and stuff. I believe there's some scenes, extended scenes with Negan that's uncensored. I think that's the biggest thing everyone is looking forward to. They haven't really gone out and labeled it. They, they labeled it extended scenes, but I haven't seen anything labeled like, boom, Negan's uncensored, which makes me kind of nervous. I either missed it completely or they did not take advantage of advertising that, which I'm just shocked. I, I thought that would be on front of all the headlines. It was months ago. They said when they were filming, they're going to release it. But now that they're releasing it, you would think like, boom, here's the ultimate edition. It's got 10 freaking discs. It's got Negan swearing and uncensored Negan. You, you would think that it has Negan on the freaking cover even. That's something I would pick up in addition to if they separate it. Like one had, only one was the definitive uncensored Negan. I'd buy that shit. Hell yeah, if it, especially if it helped. But it all depends on how they put it on the, the Blu-ray disc. I was kind of hoping they were going to do what they did last time where it was the complete episode where you had uncensored Negan uh, from the way it's worded unfortunately it sounds like these are going to be bonus clips if that's the case then yes man bring on the disappointment I and I know it's a lot to ask I know it is but I just don't see the point in uncensored clips uh, I want it 
in the entire freaking video, you know. I mean, he's only in a handful of video episodes, so you figure you only have, you know, certain episodes where they need to do that. But anyway, this thing, let me know what you think about this Winslow Walker. It is an Amazon exclusive, so it comes out in October. It's an Amazon exclusive. It's got five discs. It says it has all the other special features that the other ones have. If you want to know the price, they haven't announced it yet. It's not even on, as far as price, it's not even on Amazon on yet so the only place you can get this is Amazon I'm gonna grab it definitely and absolutely review it on the channel I think out of all of them all the recent ones uh, because after season two I, I think maybe they started overproducing them season three was amazing however there was so much that flooded the market that it was I mean you were buying them for 40 bucks I mean shit the price fluctuated between 40 to 80 or something like that uh, and then season three four was the same way five and six and seven you just wait and they drop in price I do not think this guy is gonna drop if you want him definitely go to Amazon keep an eye out for uh, when they're gonna put the pre-order up this is Winslow Amazon exclusive keep an eye out for him go ahead and pre-order him because this is one if any of them do sell out I kind of feel like this is one that might sell sell out but then again they might produce so many you might not i just don't want you to miss it but you probably won't anyhow october keep an eye out for the winslow collector's edition i am so hyped this is like i said this is i'm thrilled i am so freaking thrilled finally we're getting something where it's like the turnaround this is what you should be making now bring us a figure already McFarlane <laughs> like come on man <laughs> anyway leave your thoughts and opinions down in that comment box and yes the very next video behind this will be the death predictions for season 8 and I think we're starting with the saviors